I have got another new brand here for me. This is the Farm Story Collection from Ho Ho Lee. This is another Korean gel brand that I've been looking forward to trying. They've got some really adorable packaging. It tells a whole little story on the box here. It's just super, super cute. The packaging is nice and thick. Very, very sturdy. Your box for transporting your polishes should keep them in really good shape. Comes like most with your color card for putting your swatches on so that if you're a tech and you have it out displayed, your customers can see your new color swatches that you've got. It also has this adorable little pad of paper inside as a giveaway. That's pretty cute. Would have been really nice if it was the plastic sheets for doing um, like paint palette stuff that you can wipe off. But still, this is really cute for using. You can certainly still put your polishes on there. It's just paper, so you'll have to toss it away. Here's the bottles. Very cute. They uh, make me think of the tiny brand bottles with the uh, really long stem on them. But this is quite adorable. And they have little, little ducks on them. I'm assuming because it is the farm story collection. So they've done little decals of ducks on them, which is very, very cute. Let's get these all out. And I've got swatch sticks ready and I will get to swatches. So I went looking for the size of the bottle in on both the bottles and in the packaging and didn't have any luck finding it. As you can see here, these say open underneath. So I tried pulling back and it just pulls both stickers. So one of them I kind of destroyed a little and got it back to see what was under there and to try not to destroy too much more of the labeling so that I know what uh, bottle number this is. Underneath it does say that these are nine gram bottles. So that's a nine mil. That's typical when it comes to Korean gels that they're not the usual 15 mil that we see with North American brands. So I'll get swatching them. Let's see what these colors are like. This seems really nice and creamy, milky. Oh yeah. I just swatched another brand earlier, which seemed very, very much like a glass gel, but these are more of what I was looking for, is that syrupy creaminess of more like a milk, milk consistency. goes on really nice and smooth. And it's self-leveling just beautifully. That's gorgeous. So yeah, very milky consistency. It's not, uh, it's not see-through glass. So as always, I'll be doing two coats per swatch so I can see what the color opacity is like.
And here they are, all beautifully swatched. These colors are gorgeous. I really love them. I love the consistency. The formula was really nice and milky. They are very syrupy, which is what I was expecting and hoping for. And the color palette is really great. It's not quite pastel, which is good because I'm not usually a big fan of pastels. It's very much a dusty, muted set of colors. So that'll be great considering most of the other colors that I picked up were a lot more jewel tones and deeper, darker colors, or else they were nudes, pinks, things like that. So yeah, I was really impressed with these and really glad I picked them up. Hoholi is a brand that I would probably consider again. Although I think these guys are a bit on the pricier side, so I uh, would certainly take that into account. This blue is gorgeous, this pink color is really really nice and I also like this creamy one the uh, green will work really well too for backgrounds and stuff for florals really really nice These this will be really good for spring florals because it does have a little bit of that pastel-y Easter kind of idea to it it's just not quite pastels so yeah ho ho Lee was a winner for me <laughs> I like this collection yeah maybe I should use this and do some rose florals rose foil florals or something on it that might look really nice oh or this blue color with some rose floral foils I have some really nice florals for that i think maybe a combination Ooh, that blue and that pink that blue and that pink look really nice together <gasps> that might make for some really nice oh okay there's an idea already see you need to swatch these to get some ideas so i really like the color of that pink and blue together the oranges tones and that green look really good together too so there's some ideas I think maybe foils with this pink and blue so yeah there's my ideas and I'm sure I've got some really nice stuff to match I'm gonna do a quick press on set and I've got this beautiful matching foil so beautiful spring floral of course I've already gone in with my press ons filed the tips and done my prep and primer I wanted to use a lot of the colors because they really do match beautifully with the foil. So my nails have two coats on them and I'm gonna go in with a art foil gel and just cover them all. So after my transfer foil gel, I let them sit and cool off for a good few minutes. Otherwise they won't stick quite as nicely, the foils. I have cut up some pieces here to kind of play with, get a little bit of different looks on them. So I'm just going to play around with some placement. You got to be really careful when you're trying it out because it is very sticky on there so you could end up making a mess of your deckle or your foil.
So now that I'm happy with all of my foil placement, just go in with my primer, like a double-sided sticky tape, and just do a quick swipe. Helps to keep that connection, and anywhere that it's on the edge, you want to do around there too, so you don't end up with any lifting from the foil being in the way. Now those nails are nice and sticky, even with the foil on them. And when I go in with my taco, it is going to have a better chance of sticking and not having any lifting. So it'll last a lot longer and better. And here they are finished all in matte. They turned out just beautiful. And the collection is beautiful. I'm a big fan of these. Really pleased with the look. I can't wait to wear them. They're giving me some beautiful spring vibes. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Hope you like this collection as much as I did seeing it swatched out like that. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe so I can keep putting out this content. And of course, don't forget to love your nails. Bye. <laughs>